All right, Doc Positive here at the Pause Veterinary Clinic, and we're here with Emmy. And Emmy is a Dalmatian who came to the office yesterday. The owners had noticed that she had rapidly lost quite a bit of weight. You can see here she's looking. And she had also stopped eating and started to throw up. Uh, we examined her yesterday, and she's a, an older dog. Uh, between 8 and 10 and we discussed various possibilities that uh, she could possibly have diabetes, problems with her liver, problems with her kidneys. We did run a Lyme disease test and her Lyme disease test here is a very very strong positive. Lyme disease typically affects the joints. It typically causes musculoskeletal problems, limping, lameness, pain in the joints, and fever. The majority of dogs who get Lyme disease get the musculoskeletal form. Unfortunately, a small percentage of dogs will get a problem called Lyme nephritis. Lyme nephritis is when the Lyme organism attacks the kidneys and causes compromised kidney function and kidney failure. So we did some more detailed blood work. We sent that to the lab. We got the results this morning. And unfortunately, Emmy, the reason she's lost so much weight and is not feeling well is because her kidneys have failed. The Lyme organism, Borrelia burgdorferi, got into her kidneys, caused kidney failure from the Lyme disease. And in my experience, many, many years of treating dogs with Lyme disease, dogs with musculoskeletal Lyme disease do very well. We put them on antibiotics for a month. We put them on anti-inflammatories for pain. They respond pretty quickly. Dogs that get Lyme nephritis that attacks their kidneys they do not do well at all. Uh, she's been on intravenous fluids. We have her fluids over here. She's been hospitalized overnight, but unfortunately, with the level of her compromised kidney function, uh, she is not uh, going to recover from this. A person with this would go on dialysis, uh, have their blood filtered through a kidney dialysis, and probably go on a list for a kidney transplant. That is obviously not practical in veterinary medicine. So unfortunately, uh, we're preparing to say goodbye to Emmy here. But uh, Lyme disease is the most serious problem that I see at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. Here in the eastern part of Pennsylvania, in the Poconos, we see at least 1,500 cases of Lyme disease a year. Very, very serious problem. Get your dogs tested. Currently, this test only requires uh, a couple of drops of blood. We get the results in 10 minutes. And if uh, dogs are tested and are asymptomatic or showing musculoskeletal signs, it is very, very treatable. Unfortunately, once it gets into the kidneys, it is not as treatable. So that's a little bit about Lyme nephritis kidney failure secondary to Lyme disease. Bye now.